Welcome, Welcome everybody, everybody to the Real Word Experience, Experience. 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 podcast for creative individuals from all walks of life. We talk to rap stars, rap, 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 politicians, rap, 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 talk, 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 you name it. Maintain and entertain our best show, go and go and go go and take a seat and let the people get to be the innovative individual will achieve the beat. Let's go. Welcome everybody to the Real Bird Experience, the podcast for creative individuals from all walks of life. I'm your host, DP. And today, we welcome a special guest. He is known all the way from Exit 1, Florida City, all the way down south to the southernmost point, up to Fort Lauderdale and throughout South Florida for bringing the city out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the one and only entrepreneur, OG. Yes, indeed, Florida City Z. I love How you doing today, Z? Hey, man, shit, man, blessed, man. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, bro. So, um, for the people that don't know you, you know, my audience might not necessarily know you, just uh, give them a little bit of background of, like, who you are and what you do. Man, what was it like growing up for Z? To be honest with you, man, shit, I was a rough where I come from, shit. <clears throat> So it's rough everywhere, shit, but at the same time, shit, they actually have to experience that shit, live in that shit, and struggle your way out that shit, and still trying to find your way out that shit, bro. Well, shit, I'm from a little city called Florida City, man. Bay County, Florida City, Florida. Last stop before you get to Key West. You know what I'm saying? That shit, actually, I consider Key West home for me, too. Shit, I grew up half of my life down here too, so I mixed it up, you know. You know, that shit was, you know, it was a lot of heartache and pain came out of that shit, but man, shit, I don't got no regrets though, bro, because shit, coming up how I came up, dog, that shit was so rough, dog, down there in Florida City, bro. When you say it was rough, like, um, like, what were some of the things that you had to go through? Like, at what age? Like, did you have, were your mom and your dad around? No. No, I ain't. No. <clears throat> I actually, I seen my dad at like, I can probably count on one hand how many times I actually seen my dad at all. I ain't never had no male figure in my life, you feel what I'm saying? So, growing up in my household, it was just me, my two sisters, and my older brother. You know, my older brother was on some shit, like, you know, he older now, he trying to, he got his little family and shit, so it's basically just me and my sister, you feel what I'm saying, and my grandma, of course, she passed, but, shit, you know, man, went to seeing all type of shit, man, going to school, seeing all my dogs, man, with the drops and shit, all type of shit, man, and I'm going in this bitch with these old ass shoes and shit, grandma struggling. Just to get a nigga one pair of decent shoes, you feel what I'm saying? Like And them drops was dog, raw. Oh too. man, my dog was <laughs> coming in that bitch, man, I'm talking about. And man, this, at this time shit, he fifth grade, sixth grade. So you know at that time shit, they knew what was going on, you feel what I'm saying? So that shit. By the time I hit the sixth grade, boy, I had to make a change, boy. Shit, like, I had to see different shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, those feet wet. When I first got out there, bro, I got the little weed bomb from a dog. You feel what I'm saying? He give me the weed bomb. Nigga give me a hundred dollar bomb, tell me to bring him eighty dollars. You feel what I'm saying? I keep the twenty. So I'm like, God damn. So I, I get out there, right? I boom that bitch though. You feel what I'm saying? I boom that bitch there, but now it's like, damn. I'm trying to go pay my dog. I'm like, damn. Got to get this nigga all this money right here, and this all I get. Yeah. And, bro, this going through my mind at 12 hey, years old, bro. I'm going to tell you some real shit, bro. It's like... This going through my mind at 12, bro. I'm like, damn, I got to get this nigga four $20 bills, and I keep... <laughs> I only keep one of these motherfuckers. I'm like... And I just took all the risk. What this shit don't add up? <laughs> like, you see what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, I really just... Flipped that shit like two, three times, bro. When it bought me a quarter piece, is when I 
weed shit too oh, slow, you feel what I'm saying? That shit too slow, <laughs> bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I went and got me a quarter piece, boy. I broke that bitch down, spent 25, cut 50. I did that shit about 10 times, bro. And I did that shit about 10 times. I go to school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dumbest monkey, you feel what I'm saying? Now these niggas looking like a dog, I'm looking like, fuck. Feel what I'm saying? I ain't saying I ain't never been no whole ass nigga or nothing like that, but you know my shit went up the day yeah. though, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so man, I was a little man. behind, you feel what I'm saying? But what they were lacking. <laughs> them niggas ain't had no money. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? So shit, yeah. now y'all niggas fresh to death. We in school, y'all fresh to death. But I'm the one coming to school with the weed. Yeah, you got and the, the money. money. Yeah. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So now the whole looking like <laughs> Oh man, like it's so different like, now. Nah, yeah, yeah. Man, like I'm finna now nah, nah, I'm turning the school on to some whole other the reason why I say this because now nah, the school, I ain't saying niggas. Not a school. We in middle school, bro. Not middle school, bro. These boys looking not just the boys, not the teachers and you feel the same, bro. I'm to my sixth, seventh grade, I'm walking in this bitch smelling like weed, bro. Weed bomb on me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now the shit going around school like, damn, boy. They were before they were calling me Z. They called me Z. <laughs> Z, man, I don't know what that boy doing, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Before you know it, four, five niggas they went to smoking weed in school. Now I'm turning the school a lot slowly but surely. So, you know where we went from there, man, to the big leagues. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? 13, 14, nigga went to. Dog told me about the keys, dog. What year that was around? This was like 99, bro. Yeah, I was like going 99. up there around that time. It was 99. Fourth Street was bumping hard Street, back then, boy. Bro. It was 99, bro. Yeah. I'm 14, my nigga, you hear me? Good times. All them boys down there, you won't keep them boys' name off this. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was a lot of good niggas made. A lot of good shit happened down there. You know what I'm saying? And, Get off the chain, Tim Wu-Tang. Yeah, bro, like, growing up around that shit, bro, you know, it was, that shit was doggy dog, man, nigga, like, that shit was every man for itself, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it was either eat or get eaten, bro. Yeah. That, that was it. It wasn't no in-between. It was, you feel what I'm saying? And, like, it just went no way, bro, like. So, at what time did it get? Serious for you, you know what I mean? Like, um, actually, my first case, I was 12. Damn, my first case, I was 12. I hadn't already got kicked out of all public schools, middle school, seventh grade. I got kicked out of all public schools, so it's an opportunity school that you go to after that. You feel what I'm saying? It was called J.R. Lee. You feel what I'm saying? So I get out the JR Lee. Oh, one of them second chance. Yeah, like, yeah. second chance. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? badass. Like, Ain't yeah, nothing but this bad. This one you got everybody just all over the place in one <laughs> building at one time. You feel me, man? The, oh, the teachers yeah. hate like, boy, Ain't teachers nothing. like, damn, Ain't I got to go to teachers work. Teachers just show up, yeah. man. Get to show up, bro. Because ain't nobody doing no work. Ain't nobody doing <laughs> That shit, just a, that's just a whole project, bro. The meeting place right that's there, it. man. We're going to hang out. You just put a whole lot of bad motherfuckers in one building, bro. And they just running wild, tearing that bitch apart. That's oh, it. And shit. I caught my first case in there, bro. J.R. Lee, bro. Oh, 12. yeah. I caught an aggravated battery at 12 years old and got kicked out that shit. My my third, no, my my third week at, at J.R. Lee, I got kicked out that shit, dog. Went to jail. That was my first time going to jail, dog, to the Jack Juvenile Detention Center. To the Jack. To the Jack, bro. Yeah. Got out that bitch. Man. You was there with Miss Mackey was there and all of that. Miss Mackey and Perry and uh, Perry, all them all. Yeah, Perry, Perry, all them. Jane Perry and all them boys. That boy, he might have done. He was, he was chill by the time you got there. Cause he was like straight. Man, that, he was green a, as fuck. <laughs> that nigga was straight. Green ass. Man, he was like a drill sergeant in that mug. Yeah, you couldn't man. talk during TV time. 
None of that, dog. I seen Miss Mackie slap a motherfucker with <laughs> Damn. That nigga was that nigga be crazy, nigga, man. Dog. Like, nigga, damn, boy. Nigga, we was down Ooh. south, bro. Be quiet, and be quiet. Down south, my nigga. Them niggas used to try, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I seen a nigga in them little dummies and shit, man. Had them niggas from the city in there way trying to jump niggas and shit. Yeah. We always come out victorious, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Niggas know about the down south, oh, nigga, man. man. Shit, man. But yeah, man. For real though, bro, like, I caught my first serious case, bro, I was 14, bro. I was already, I was already waist deep in that shit then, yeah. bro. I was already trafficking, I already traveling and shit back and forth from day yeah. to Keys down here by myself, me and my homeboy. No license, 14, nigga, barely still on the steering wheel, but boy, we getting in and getting yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, bro, we getting in and getting out, bro. We did that shit. We did that shit for about a good year. Oh, I got pop. Bringing a high speed chase, dog, with the sack in the car, dog. Crack his head behind us, dog. I'm driving. Me and my dog, man. I'm talking about. It was a, it was a gangster one, bro. <laughs> but damn, my life took a turn for the worse ever since then. Yeah. After all of that shit, that dog can't really speak on it, but after all of that shit, that like. So how do you get away from that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's next for Zig? Like, do you plan on staying say, in the hood? Nah. To answer that, nah. I think that's what my problem is right now, bro. Like, that's what my problem is right now because I had a few opportunities, bro, to leave all that shit behind, but I did because I was in position multiple times to do it. You feel what I'm saying? At a young age, in my mid twenties, and like with what's going on now, you feel what I'm saying? And that's my transition now. That's what I'm trying to transition into right now with this music shit, bro. Like that always been my passion. You feel what I'm saying? So, when what year? When did you get into music? Shit, to tell you the truth, bro. I wrote my first song, bro. Two thousand four. Two thousand four. I was in prison in Bavar. I wrote my first song in 2004. Got out 2005 and recorded my first song down here in Key West. Oh, yeah. At Von's, um, uh, Von Sway. Von with Sway, the little Sway dog, thing. with the yeah. Tail, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm bad, Von Sway, because I know Von, you're going to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Von Sway, man. Hey, Shout out to Von Sway, man, because he showed me love, man. He gave me his beat, dog. He had a beat, dog. When I came in there with the lyrics, bro, the shit was so raw and uncut, bro. And when I came in there, Von Sway say, man, I want you to listen to something. It was a Tupac. It was yeah. a Tupac instrumental, dog. I got that bitch. It was a Tupac instrumental, and I rapped over that bitch, and I liked it. But when I got to Von Sway, it actually a few things that I ain't like about the beat. And I told him, he took it out. And, man, we made a combination, man. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. That bitch, um, we dropped it. It was called Fear Me or Kill Me. That shit went crazy around here. Yeah. It went crazy, bro. Like, that bit went crazy all out through day, the keys. So I, back I, then you were just playing with it, I right? I was playing with it, bro. Like I, I knew I had it because every time I like dropped some shit, you know, motherfucker was fucking with it. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And motherfucker know I wasn't just putting no just put just rapping. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm actually rapping like what I'm talking about, like yeah. when niggas know what I'm talking about, yeah. like they seeing it. So yeah. that's why motherfucker really gonna relate to it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, man, keep doing it, keep doing it. But at this time, I'm so motherfucking deep in that shit, though. That other shit, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn, how can I juggle both of these motherfuckers? You feel what I'm saying? But I love this one now. I'm starting yeah. to love this one more than I love this one. But yeah. this shit here paying the bills. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what's getting the nigga the attention. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? The lifestyle, nigga appearance, yeah. all that shit come from that. You feel what I'm saying? So it was hard for me to just say, okay, I got to leave this one alone and leave this one alone. That's how I ain't no getting fucked up, dog. Yeah. Going to prison. That shit set my whole career behind, dog, because I had been caught flamed in, dog. And at that time, 
This was around about that time Kodak had then came out. That nigga Cody P came out. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I get popped right yeah. at that time, man. I'm telling you, man. The South was buzzing. So what was the biggest thing you learned from getting popped? Like, you know, like for me, it was like, for me, when I what I learned was to stop being around the crowd, dog. I ain't come home and be no good boy. You feel me? I came home, got waist deep. But when I stopped hanging around the crowd, it was over with, man. See, and that's what it was, too, with me. I think, like, the opposite of what you're saying, though, with me, I think my lifestyle, bro, was so fucking flashy, bro. Yeah. It was so flashy to it. It just attracted all type of motherfuckers. You feel what yeah. I'm saying, man? I knew what I was allowed in my immediate circle now. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But from the outside looking in, the motherfucker be like, damn, he got all that shit going on. Why the fuck he got all these people around him like that? Why yeah. all these people be around like that? I don't know, maybe because I'm a good hearted motherfucker, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? I, I just be fortunate enough to go find mm. ways, you feel what I'm saying, to come up. And I just be want to bless other motherfuckers, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? And you know, motherfuckers don't understand, though, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you deal with motherfuckers from all walks of life every day, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, who a motherfucker choose to keep as they company, you feel what I'm saying? I don't, I don't understand why another motherfucker will feel like they need to attack that, you feel what I'm saying, when something go wrong or... Well, when people, when you see that shit, it's be motherfucker don't be, they ain't happy with what they got going that's on. Exactly you feel what me? It is, because you feel that's when you exactly happy what with what you got going on, you know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck about what Susie, Larry, Mo, Curly, whoever the fuck got going on. You, yeah. you know your life good. It's the yeah. bubble right yeah. here. Don't come that's in the part. bubble. You know what I'm saying? And fuck with the bubble. And, and you know, life is good. You know what I'm saying? Like. I know what it take now. You feel what I'm saying? You know, if it it'll be a lot easier, it'll be a lot easier for us. You feel what I'm saying? Down south to make it in the music. If we was more, if we if we was more, we, we more unified, you feel what I'm saying? Like it ain't no unity in that shit. Like down south, you know, when it comes to the music, because it's a lot of motherfuckers in position. You feel what I'm saying? To to make a lot of great things happen for a lot of artists that pushing themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but it's only so far that shit gonna go, dog. You feel what I'm saying? When a nigga ain't got that right backing, that right following, and knowing if you was to take some of that gutter music right now, like right now, you feel what I'm saying? I know for a fact if you was to take some of my music right now, and compared to the industry music right now, and they had listening right now, I know my music will be way better than a lot of them boy shit right now. Why shit ain't being heard? I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just like these boys blow, they blow. Certain figures in the music industry right now, the moguls and shit, the Miami and shit like that and shit, them boys get into certain positions and just feel like they did enough for the crib. You feel what I'm saying? And and all that shit, well, all that shit be dog is them boys feel like they'll get one or two, one or two niggas out they hood. You feel what I'm saying? And okay, damn, but we didn't did something for the hood. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. One or two niggas out the hood, what you owe them niggas that loyalty. Yeah. Them niggas probably then bust heads for you and did yeah. all type of shit for you, so you can't leave them niggas yeah. behind. You feel what I'm saying? But they stand on that shit. You feel what I'm saying? They'll stand on that. Okay, we did something for the hood. So we see one or two niggas flocking behind them boys there where they go. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But in all actuality, them niggas be so focused on other states. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas' whole focus be on other states. On what them other niggas in other states gonna think about them when they go do them shows in them other states. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why they go to, to them other states, signing them other niggas, getting them niggas them big uh -huh. contracts, and doing all of that shit. Cause they trying to please these niggas. You feel what I'm saying? But they gonna use this Miami shit 
for the platform. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because niggas know in other states, boy, them niggas at the crib down at them. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So them niggas use that shit as a platform. They stand on that shit. But when you dig into that shit, bro, them niggas, them niggas know we some of the most giftedest rappers if we get a chance to be heard, bro. That's why we gonna keep pushing this shit how we pushing it, bro. I mean, who be, you know, who's like the big rappers in Miami right now? You know, mm -hmm. Trick got this shit going on. Yeah, he got a bunch of shit yeah, going Trick on. Yeah, Trick got his shit going on. I fuck with Trick. I want to say mm -hmm. Trick, like, Trick one of the big, yeah, he I one know. of the big, mm -hmm. he one of the big dogs, you feel what I'm saying, when it come down to Dead County. <clears throat> yeah, I grew up on you Trick. You feel what I'm saying, and the most influence to me. Yeah, 100%. You feel what I'm saying, the Definitely. most influence to me. I tell you, you what, he, he definitely uh, top three. You know. And my, I tell you, know, I say that in like all my podcasts. Oh, yeah. definitely. You know, he top three artists for me, like all time. In the game, period. Yeah, you know, they be naming like a lot of yeah. people in their top ten. But I'm like, man, it wasn't like Trick was just a rapper, you feel me? It was like a whole lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, that like we grew up in, you feel me? Like I understood, you know, I remember that shit. Like that I, shit. I wonder why they don't do no movie. With all that John Doe shit, like yeah, to be yeah, honest, yeah, you understand? Shit. Like that, you know, Miami back then was like. That's like they, what, I, now it goes back to show you. That goes back to show you so much legendary shit in Miami. Yeah, man. All of these niggas in position and in power to really dig into that shit. Yeah, man. It okay, got man, y'all come on, that's, man, I'm talking about shit that didn't went down in it history in Miami, that shit ain't on display. Them stories is like, original. Like, you know, it ain't like, it ain't like they, mm. they gonna get some shit, dig up some shit that's gonna criminalize. Yeah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. That shit dead and that shit, all that shit you in know. the dirt in a way, you feel what I'm saying? But it take for other motherfuckers. That's the shit, man. The other motherfuckers to come it. dig into our shit. And then they do Blow it. up off of it. And they make the story of their own shit. Yeah, too, you, you feel what I'm saying? saying like. You just Can't nobody tell our shit like that. Nah, they, you be sitting there mad, you know what I'm saying? Now you they like, mad. Look at that shit. Now they, they mad. They telling this bullshit yeah. story. By the way, watch my movie getting ready to come out too, man. What's going to be the name of the movie? Trapped in the Game. Trapped in the Game. And what it's going to be about? My lifestyle. From what my age? Life. All the way up until I went to Megan North. Ashley, my brother, and my sister. Put that shit out there, man. Some real authentic shit. Like, yeah. I think it's time for a motherfucker to really know why. Like, know the shit that a nigga really been through. And to still be here to tell that shit today. The average motherfucker, though, the average motherfucker have to go through certain shit, bro, and be like, bitches lose their minds and motherfuckers go to smoke a dope. Yeah. Shoot heroin, all type of shit, bro. Like, so what's the plan? Since we get, I got you here. Let's talk about the plan. What you go? What's the plan for the future? It's the plan. How to? What we doing? What's next? You feel plan. me? Plan. No more handcuffs. No more handcuffs. Better, man, nigga, focus now. What kind of? I mean, any businesses or anything that you yeah, want to get into? Yeah, yeah. I actually just opened up my own um, LLC. Just spoke on, you know, the movie. I actually just signed my management deal. You feel what I'm saying? That's something I ain't never had because I always was pushing by myself, pushing by myself. So now I got like a little team behind me now. So to speak on that, what you asked me though, because I can't forget about that shit. That shit been sitting on my What's head. What's that? Like the moguls. Yeah. The moguls. Who the moguls is of Dade County right now? The moguls. The Rick Rosses. Ah, Ross. Callies. That's bad. I forgot. I forgot about Ross. The flow riders. Yeah, they didn't got commercial. The pit bulls. Yeah. It's yeah. like they forgot where they came from. Yeah. You know, and it ain't. It ain't cause you can't tell us we don't got what it take down here in Miami. Why it takes somebody else? All of the QCs and the. The loot, the wild fan luchies and the the yeah. boosy badasses yeah. them to come all the way to Miami, down south to sign a motherfucker. Yeah. For them to be successful. When we got, 
these boys standing on this Miami platform, been standing on it and screaming and preaching to, I'm talking about preaching this Miami platform for decades. That ain't nobody came up up under them yet. That's real. Why? Shit. When we got great rappers, the ball greasies. Yeah. Why he? Why? I don't the feel like icebergs. he crossed over there. Yeah, I don't feel like they crossed over with them other ones you named just yet. They, I mean, the iceberg like that. I'm just saying, like. I mean, iceberg. Think, I don't know I if they know him in New York. You know what I'm saying? Them. Like they big like that. But that's what I'm saying, like. I know he big down here, you know what it I'm saying? Takes, he definitely it big. Takes, they got what it takes. No, I it big takes enough. the QCs, like yeah. I said. And look at the, look who came and discovered the little old city girls, man. QC. Oh, yeah? Way from Atlanta, man. He signing everybody, huh? QC, man. Two projects. Look, look at them now. You got to love them. Yeah. Because that's, that's that. That's that. That's what, that's what we come from. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But who said that they wouldn't be millionaires, bro? Like... Is right up under them boys' nose. Like, so we know the talent is here in Miami. Yeah. The talent is here. Ain't no excuses why them boys ain't got nobody's up under them labels, up under them camps. If you bought the crib, then be bought the crib. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't just stand on that shit, my nigga, and use that shit as no platform. Like, you know, I feel like it's plenty motherfuckers, dog, right now. That's and it's finna happen sooner or later. That's finna blow from the career. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's plenty mother, it's finna happen. Yeah. But then when you look back at it, once that shit happened and you look back at that shit, and then you know motherfuckers looking at that shit like damn, like nigga really did have all this talent right here at the career, my nigga like. And a nigga overlooked it, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I know motherfuckers that shit go through their minds sometimes, yeah. you feel what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. But it's like Damn, like, and when you look at it, bro, it's on the business level. It ain't like it's a handout. It ain't like you handed a nigga no rap career. If you yeah. know a nigga can rap, bro, and you know a nigga got what it's take, bro, but a motherfucker ain't hearing this shit in certain places, but you know if a nigga shit can be heard, my nigga, they got a chance. Damn, man, get them boys a shot, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, what you see, but the thing about it is like, man, they don't even want you to blow. That's what I'm trying to tell you. you know what I'm that's what I'm trying to tell you. So when we do, when that do happen, and when we do blow, it be because of other motherfuckers yeah. that came and stepped in. They be hoping. Yeah, you know, other bro, motherfuckers bro, that man. stepped in. You feel what I'm saying? Attention. I should think selling out shows and shit would be where it's at, man. But that shit over with. Yeah, right now it is. Well, mm -hmm. listen. A bit. If a bit wondering what's going on right now, man, with the artists is, through all of this shit that's going on right now. Them boys, listen. If you relying on the show, oh. if you relying on any type of traveling to get some money through the music, yeah, it did, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you now. So if you just a rapper relying on that shit and relying on that rapper money, well, all type of shit finna go to having the cars, finna go to getting repossessed. How I just finna go to get snatched up. Perfect, perfect. That's happening now. Perfect. You feel what I'm saying? But look, the little the, the independent little rappers, like me. <laughs> you feel me? Like me. <laughs> you gonna survive, bro. I own all my shit. Oh, man. I own all my shit. <laughs> Whip paid for. <laughs> Ain't shit rented. I'm all right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm all right, bro. Like, you feel me? I'm, I'm all right, bro. So, whether you niggas come down, man, and, and look down in the trenches and come snatch us out the trenches or not, man, we still all right. We still around for them. We still ain't need Benzes. Still making music. We still making good yeah. music. Still shooting We videos. still screaming on all platforms. Yeah. You know? <laughs> DP pulling up, shooting yeah, on visuals. Down. You already know. You feel me? <laughs> Shit, life good for us, man, in the Damn trenches, right. bro. Like, you Damn feel right. what I'm saying? Life good for us in the trenches, bro, you know? What's Crooked Life? Crooked Life. Is that like a brand? Yeah. That's a brand. Yeah. That Crooked Life is everything to me, bro. 
actually that shit they were finding me and uh, my homeboy Moon. Yeah, my dog. Me and my homeboy Moon, you feel what I'm saying? Standing on Petronia one night, one of them nights, blocks full. <laughs> Everybody out there doing what they do. Good old days. Good old days, if y'all know what I mean. And I'm rapping that song, what I was telling you, that feel me, yeah. kill me the moon. And when I rapped it to him, bro, he was like, bro, bro, you need to go record that. Yeah. I say, man, I ain't on that shit, man. Mm -hmm. You nigga out here, man, shit. I told you, I'm, yeah. Man, but at this time here, I'm like 16. <laughs> all in. I'm like 16. At this, yeah, I'm all in. Yeah. At this time, I'm like 16. Shit, man, I got, man, shit, I'm, I'm up. You feel me? So, you know, it's like, damn, baby, you want to go to the studio? Go to the studio, man. We go to the studio. Von Sway, the beat. Back to what I was telling you about the beat with Von Sway. Von Sway, take it. We drop him. Come drop that bit to the streets. That bit went crazy. That's when we decided on, shit, we just going to go on it, man. Just, just brand ourselves, man. Brand you, man. And you feel what I'm saying? Based on, you feel what I'm saying? Everything that you done been through in your lifestyle. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like coming up, baby, you know, feel what I'm saying? Nigga living that cricket ass life, bro. Like, by any means, you feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't got no parents that's growing up in the household. You feel what I'm saying? Well, a nigga get so a nigga got to go out there and break the law. You feel what I'm saying? A nigga got to do what they got to do. You feel what I'm saying? That's where the cricket shit come into play at. You feel what I'm saying? So, when we say crooked instead of cricket, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? So, it's C R O O K. All right. You feel what I'm saying? Not cricket, it's crooked. All right. As in crooks. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody know what a crook is, man. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no military secret. That's what a nigga was. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Not. A nigga ain't saying that as in, oh, a motherfucker put something down, though. Don't finna go steal it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? No. Nah, nah. nah, that's that's, that's, some, that's some other shit. That, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some other shit. We ain't talking about like that. We talking about, you feel what I'm saying? By any means, going out there. Grinding, you feel what I'm saying? If a nigga got the bust a head, bust a head, you feel what I'm saying? But all of that shit applied to that, you feel what I'm saying? As being crooked, you feel what I'm saying? But life coming to the play well, after all of the, after we didn't did that, the lifestyle we start living off the expenses. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, so now we trying to, you yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you get so, caught up in it. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, I and got it. that's why it means so much yeah, to me. It makes sense. You see what I'm saying? Like, definitely, man. And yeah, so you know. Definitely, so man. When you look at Caught that up shit, in this exactly, shit, man. Exactly. So when you put that shit to get now, you're like, oh, okay. And now that I probably just broke that shit down forever for everybody that always been want to know, damn, why the nigga always be screaming cricket like? Why the nigga be screaming cricket like? C L G. Why they screaming yeah. that shit? What that shit mean? It's the first time I really ever explained that shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, all right. So you just said CLG, but it's been Florida City Z. Where did where did Florida Z? Huh? I love it, man. See Florida City Z. But where did where did Florida City Z come from? Okay, I'm gonna take you back. This is gonna sound crazy, but I actually got like four people living inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Do we ever talk to each other? Gee, bro, listen, huh? listen to my own. <laughs> Don't too many people really know this, bro, but I actually got four people that live inside of me, bro. I could believe you know it, man. And you didn't got, you didn't probably got like two. Yeah, one of them in front of the uh, store. And, and you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but then even, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, wait, why I say that? It's like, I can be four persons in, in front of you right now. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Most definitely. With, with the same clothes on, same look, without a disguise. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Definitely. And and it ain't nothing that I'm trying to sell. You, you know what, what you should do? One day you should film all four different egos and make a video. I, I, you know I, I what I'm saying? Like, like in like but, different outfits though. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So you can really distinct each yeah, one yeah, from yeah, each yeah, one. Yeah. But, like, you know. But actually, though, yeah, like, for real, though, bro, like, I guess that's why I deal with my demons the way I deal with them. Going through the shit that I done been through. Like, how you mostly deal with your demons? 
alone, solo, don't talk about them with nobody. I don't even talk about them, bro. I just like. You got to talk to yourself. See, if it was, yeah, see, if it was just one person juggling all of that shit, then they probably would have, I probably would have gave it away. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but being that is multiple, if I'm going through something right now, I don't have to wait for that switch. Like, I don't got to wait for that switch. The clip, like when multiple people dealing with their problems and shit and dealing with their shit, you know, they have to wait for a, 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 a certain shit to probably trigger them or something. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I don't, I don't, I don't operate like that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? If I know I'm in something, if I know I'm going through something as this person, you feel what I'm saying? Then I can just be that person. Yeah, you got to cross over there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I can just be that person a lot. Like, Cause if I, cause I know how I'm gonna get. It's one of them you got buried. You try not to let them come out. Yeah, yeah, it's, nigga. There. Yeah, look. It's like, it's, like, it's, it's like, like man, he like yeah, leave yeah, him alone. So, you know. And when a motherfucker see me, though, bro, it's like, motherfucker see me, though, it's like, damn, bro, y'all always smiling and shit, man. Y'all always, you know what I'm saying? I fuck y'all always laughing and shit, like, you feel know what I'm saying? But it don't be. They don't be asking me that shit. Why you always laughing and smiling? Because they know I'm gonna just go out there and kill me a bitch. Yeah. Or I'm just gonna do some, some, some just some devilish shit. No, it ain't that. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I don't <laughs> carry myself like that. You feel what I'm saying? It's that. Damn, this nigga didn't ask. When you sit down and think about, man, this nigga didn't. This nigga had not been through some shit. Yeah. How the fuck this nigga juggling all that shit like that? How the fuck he carrying all that shit like that? And every time you see this nigga, he's smiling. And you what's feel what what's some of the so, hardest shit you been through? Shit, first and foremost, I'm gonna have to say losing my daughter. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Damn. And yeah. you was locked up too. Yeah, losing my so daughter. So you had to go through that shit. All that shit with... <laughs> fighting them cases. How much time they was offering you? Now I can see it. <laughs> but if I would've said it back then, I probably would've lost everything. But damn, boy. I probably would've lost everything. Bro. Yeah. I to bro, I would've probably would talking 47 years, bro. But my for just for record, drugs, my criminal, no. my criminal record, though, with everything, and my points, what led up into my criminal record, the motherfucker, bro. I got 17 felonies, bro. Like, oh, major felonies. Were they bro. drugs or you got violent drugs, shit up in there, too? All are combined. You got guns and shit, too? Whew, that so Dane County that shit. The, uh, Dane County, boy. Yeah, so like, Gun charges, boy. You know, I hated it for my kids. That's one thing. I, I don't want them to catch no charges. I want to be able to have a gun license. Yeah. That's the one thing that, you yeah, know, nigga can never have a gun up, license, bro, like, man. So how do you like? All right, I mean, you lost your little girl, man. Like, how how did you bounce back from that, man? And how do you deal with it today? Cause I know this is something that don't go away. You nah, feel me? Shit, it always gonna go revisit you. Now. You know, it's you know your kids. You feel me? Like for me personally, bro, it's like like I'm experiencing so much death, though, bro, to the point where it's like. Like, on both ends, you feel what I'm saying? Mama, daddy, grandma, granddaddy. So I never had no parents. So all of my homeboys and shit that's going up, you go to their mama, daddy, them cribs, and grandma, granddaddy, they couldn't do that to me. They couldn't go to my grandma house or my granddaddy house or my mama house or my daddy house. They were dead. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And the aunties that I did have that were close to me, they were dead. They ended up dying. So it was like... You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, so like, so it's like, damn, like, every everybody that I can just say, damn, every house that I can just literally say, okay, I want to walk in and go get something to eat, or I know I can go get something to eat from over here if I want to, a home-cooked meal, I can't do that shit. At the age of 17, 18, I was, that was old, that was a wrap for me, you feel what I'm saying, besides my auntie who just passed, my favorite auntie, but, you know, she passed right before I went to prison, you feel what I'm saying, but... That was the last, the last person I can really say as a close relative 
that I had, bro. You feel what I'm saying? With my auntie. You feel what I'm saying? I freed That was it. Did that make you like drawn more to the streets? Like love yeah, your home? Yeah, like yeah, that's your family yeah, that's now? That's what really pushed me out there even more because I ain't had, I ain't, I went, I ain't never had that love because like, it was just me, my sisters. You feel me saying? My grandma, my mama, when she come, you know, my mama was strong out and shit, you feel me saying? All that shit and shit like that. But, you know, she was a good mama, you feel me saying? But, you know, that dope get a hold of your ass, bro. Ain't, that's that dope, bro. It ain't no other way around. Not wrong? Nah, she was on crack. crack. Yeah, my mama smoked my grandma, crack. My grandma but smoked shit, crack. That's what I live with. That shit my was grandma. so bad, it was just like it was wrong. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Yeah. I remember my grandma, man. She, I we was perking, and I came home one day, man, and she just, she knew I was out there. She thought I had real shit, dog. You know, she, we ended up getting into it, man. She tried to choke me. You know what I'm saying? She right. was choking me up against the door. You know what I'm saying? Like she was shaking my pocket. She could hear that shit jiggling. You know what I'm saying? That's all she heard. Chick, 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 chick. Concrete road. Woo, boy. My grandma, man. Concrete road. Man. Ghetto Bible. Man. Shit out everywhere, man. Y'all go fuck with it. Florida City Z. Man. And we want to give a shout out to any of your homeboys. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. You already know, man. Shout out I to I mean, the, if you want to, you can. If you can't, understand Shout out to the mob, man. I'm going to just say that, man. Shout out to the mob. Most definitely. CIG. Let's, let's, shout out to CIG, uh, man. Y'all already know what it is. Z shit. Shout out so, to the zombies, man. Your favorite, your favorite, uh, let's, yeah, let's do some, some hot questions before you go. Favorite rap artists, uh, let me get the favorite top three rap artists. My favorite top three rap now. I'm judging you all for this too. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my favorite, my favorite rapper, my favorite rapper, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a trick. Okay, I, I could go for that one. So trick would be number one. No, no, no fuckery because he from Dade and all no, that shit. I'm no. trying to sign with Slip and Slide and all that fuck ass no. shit. Cause niggas know I've been self made. So no, you being from Miami, Trick is yeah, my favorite rapper. Yeah, you got yeah. I, number two, number two, I'm gonna have to say Boosie. Boosie. I'm gonna have to say Boosie. My third. I'm about to say got it. Yo got it? Yeah, got it, man. That's my top Yo right got there, it, man. Definitely. I ain't heard nothing that he got recently, man. He just dropped that recession proof though. Yeah, shit hard. Shit Money it. bag, yo shit be hard. Them boys too. consistent over there, man. Yeah, shit yeah, man. Them boy consistent. Shit. Them boy got a solid team over there. All right. CMG. 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 CLG. CLG. See, them the type of niggas you sign with right there. Yeah. Niggas that understand that struggle. Yeah. Niggas that know what that shit like. Niggas yeah. ain't gonna play no games when they come to get niggas out that struggle. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. That's why them niggas successful. That's why them niggas so strong over there. You feel know what I'm Sticking saying? Together. That's why them niggas respect each other because them niggas know. You feel know what I'm saying? But we come from that same shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? That same shit. So that shit don't mean nothing when a nigga get up there and get that shit because the nigga ain't never had shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so a nigga ain't gonna have, ain't gonna need second guess trying to reach out there. That's how that shit supposed to be though. But we don't got that. Is it it's like that in Memphis? Yeah. It's like that in Atlanta. It's like that in um Pretty much everywhere you go. It's like that in New York. Yeah. It's like that in um Detroit. I'm telling you, man, them niggas, them niggas reaching down and pulling motherfuckers out, man. Listen, yeah. man, you rap, boy, you can rap. You got to, okay, I'm going to give you a shot. That's all it's about. Niggas yeah. ain't telling you niggas to go get no niggas no millions of dollars. Yeah. Niggas ain't asking you niggas for no handouts. Niggas just want to be heard. That's it. You got to do it without them. That's it. That's why we doing mm -hmm. it without them. Mm -hmm. That's why we doing it. That's why them boys continuing to. to be successful. You got to. That's it. Got to do it without them, man. Without them, they ain't, you know. With the, without then, the music know, shit, man. You know, you nigga know. gonna be successful because nigga don't just rely on no music. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why you feel what I'm saying. We allowed to sit in this motherfucker. The podcast is damn right, right, man. You feel what I'm saying? You know, tripping. I was not waiting Louis. for nobody to tell me I could do a motherfucking you podcast. They wouldn't never. Ah. I'd have been sitting here just waiting, just smoking and. 
Y'all make sure y'all fuck with me though, man. Definitely, man. So uh, with that being said, man, we're going to go ahead and close out, man. We want to thank our special guest of the day, CLG Javier Maxwell, formerly known as Florida City Zig. But he will always be Florida City Zig, man. He, Zig, you can't man. shake that name, boy. That ain't going nowhere, boy. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with me, man. Yeah, if y'all want to feature anything like that, you know what I mean? Contact my man. He's on all platforms. On Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Just check him out. Javier Maxwell. Thank you for coming on, man. DP Photography, we out. Ah. Sir.